what our span does basically, and we're not going to get into this concept tonight because I don't have the infrastructure to introduce it. But what our span does is say I had another switch somewhere here by a trunk. I could set up an R span command here to port information to a switch port here on this switch. This is why it's so very, 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 very critical to lock down your infrastructure. Because if somebody is able to gain your infrastructure, they can do crazy stuff like this. And once they own the core, once they own a box on the network, they can start sniffing packets. And I'm going to go over, I'm going to do a little demonstration tonight with Wireshark, why it's important to lock down the infrastructure, all right, so that this does not happen. Okay. What's worse than, that, than, than a hacker, guys? A hacker with a little bit of networking knowledge. Okay. Because if you can, if I can own the network, if I can own this, servers are a piece of cake, and I'll show you why. If you want to follow along, you're more than welcome to. This is more for, you know, instructional purposes. Okay. Um, you don't have this as part of the lab. This will not be part of a test. So, to set up GNS3, we're going to do a specific, um, we're going to do a specific uh, environment, a specific little drill here. Okay? So, I want to start up GNS3, and I also want to start up uh, VMware. Now, if I remember correctly, I had these guys on VMNet 2. Okay, VMNet 2. Perfect. <coughs> I'm going to start both these guys up. But I'm going to connect them to a, uh, a cloud on VMNet 2, and I'm going to put them into a, um, a network within GNS3. So they're on VMNet 2. I'm just going to make a couple of routers here. Connect VMNet 2 here to that switch and the switch to the routers F00. The routers, uh, fast Ethernet 1 ports will go uh, across one another. <coughs> I must 
stop right there for now. I'm going to right click on Cloud One and I'm going to uh, change the host name just so we don't. So you know you can see a graph like your VM. Net. Oh, no spaces. So before I start asking, we should look at IF config. Yeah, so 192, 168, 222, 129. So that's there. Go over my server here.
Uh, I need to. Okay, let me just quickly set up the networking for this real fast. Uh, I'm going to just use uh, EIGRP real fast on both of these networks. EIGRP10 net 172.16.0.0 and net 10.0.0.0 
route add default DW interface. Alright, so I'll just close Route add default GW 192.168.1.1. Route add default space GW IP. In Windows, it's that's really easy. Go through the IP setting. gateways set to where we'll route through this router. So basically what had happened was for the VMs that are part of this VM network down here, they have their default gateway set to the VM virtual interface. I changed it to this router's Ethernet interface so that they can, they should be able to ping through here. If I go back and look at this, Yeah. Let me see if I can come to 10 now. 10. 0.0. .0. And I can't. Oh, well, that
Wireshark and basically tell it where to capture it. Actually, we in S3 should have already done. All right, so here you see a capture in progress. These are all the different frames that are coming from the routers. You see some ICMP traffic. You see, uh, this looks pretty chatty. What this is, it's EIGRP. It's EIGRP, okay? And this is dumping to a file on my, um, uh, on my laptop. So if I, do a, let's just take a look at this real quick. Oh, see that's all ICMP because I still have that going. If I kill that, now I see some DNS traffic. I still see EIGRP that's happening. That's about it. Okay. This is uh, my Windows box is trying to reach out to D to DNS. It's not happening. So let me um, do a couple more things real quick. I'm going to go back so I don't crash my system with a bunch of huge PCAP, uh, huge PCAP problem. Go back to GNS3. Stop capturing. When I stop capturing, you see it just it dies. All right. So there's a lot of things I can do with this. Um, it's kind of hard to see. Now I have all kinds of stuff going on here. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to clear this out. I'm going to capture. interface list, you can see all my different VMware adapters that I have that it'll, it'll, it'll work with. All right. So here's all my different adapters. That's my gigabit. <coughs> I have some Microsoft adapters and here's my virtual network adapters. See that I'm getting stuff here. On